I'm Gary from P. Hydroponics. Welcome back. This is our last episode on our cloning series. Um, if you've been watching up through now, we've learned pretty much everything about the cloning machine and clones and what they are and all that. What we haven't covered yet is the old school way of doing things, which is the old humidity dome. And this is still excellent. It works great, especially if you're in soil and you only have a few plants to deal with. Um, humidity dome, the whole idea behind this is you can put your cuttings in here and it's got little vents up top here and you keep these closed up especially the first couple weeks and it builds up humidity inside and then this allows the plants to be able to drink from the air since they don't have roots yet so that's what a humidity dome is um, we carry the Monty ones <clears throat> and they fit <clears throat> they fit all the standard trays um, these are what people call cut trays or I call them propagation trays. They're all standard 10 by 20 inch. And the domes fit pretty much anything out there. Um, this is one of the cheaper ones. These are the thin black ones you all see everywhere. This one here is a Mondi. This one's heavy duty. Um, these trays are known to break real easy. So we're gonna be using the heavy duty one for our project today. Um, another way to do it is these little Root Riot plugs. These are my favorite as well they're a little sponge they have good water to air ratio and the roots just goes in real easy they're just real convenient to use today we're going to be using soil um just in little three and a quarter inch pots and soil works just fine um we're using a really fluffy mix here and you want to get a soil that's fluffy you don't want to use a soil that's going to hold a lot a ton of water um, especially if you're starting seeds because they can rot the seeds and it just helps the roots get going a lot easier we're also going to be using clonus clone solution this is going to be our baby food that we're going to feed the soil with um, a heating mat heating mats help keep the root zone warm so if you're in a cool climate part of the country you're going to want to use a heat mat for sure to help get things get speeded up and that'll help get your roots going faster um, this is really cool. This is made by Green Pad. This is called a Green Pad Junior. This puts out CO2. It's a little pad you roll up in the corner of your dome and adds humidity, triggers it, and it gives off CO2, which is what your plants need to breathe. So these really can help speed up brooding. These are one of my favorite things for cloning. A lot of people come in and have problems. I'm like, try this, and it works. So we're going to take our clones the same as in the other videos. Um, I got our mother plant back here, and we got our cloning gel. We're going to just dump out a little bit of cloning gel, just as you normal. You don't want to stick your cuttings right into the gel, because it will contaminate it. And we're using our razor blade again. I'm um, getting everything ready ahead of time. That way, once I take my cutting, it can be in the soil quick, instead of just sitting around. I'm going to poke my little hole here with my pen. You want to bury your stem at least a half an inch down. We're going to do about an inch down. Gives it more area to root. Alright. So just like the other, just like your cloning machine, you want to get a, a couple of branches on there. We're going to do the old angle cut again. We're gonna dip it in the gel, go about a half inch up, get some of it off. You don't want it globbed on there. I'm gonna get rid of this other leaf here. All right, so we're just gonna stick that in the hole, close it up nice. We're gonna go ahead and take another cutting here. Forty-five degree angle. Dip it in the gel. Make sure it's not any globs on there. And we're gonna stick that in the hole. And it's pretty much as simple as that. If you're doing, we're using these root rye plugs. It's the same way we just did that with the soil. And then you'll mix a little bit of your seedling food in there, and just give them a nice water down. In our next episode, we're going to be starting about all the different ways to start seeds. We're going to be talking about um, 
all the different growing medias. It's going to be great. We're going to go over rock wool. We're going to go over the different kinds of root rye plugs and other kinds of pre-made plugs. And we're going to go through different soils to start stuff in. Cocoa, all that. So, when you get them in your dome, you want to keep this totally sealed up for the first couple weeks. You, you can take a spray bottle and mist the inside of the dome to help keep the humidity in there better. And every day you come in your room, you should see some fogging on here. And that is, that's telling you that there's plenty of humidity in there. Once they're definitely going to make it after a couple weeks and you know that the roots are going to start growing, you can go ahead and open up your vents up here to let them start getting some fresh air. And in two to three weeks, I'll be transplanting these into their next size pot and we'll go on from there. And that pretty much wraps up our cloning. And I hope you learned something. <laughs> We're here to help all the time. Um, I'm Gary from Pi Japonics. We have a store in York Springs, Pennsylvania. And we also have a store called All Good Garden Supply in Maryland. And we're here to help. Come check us out. Have a good day.